We got 200 people in here. Let's get started, you know? We got questions and they all printed on the right side of the page. I'm so happy. It's the little things, isn't it always? So today is Thursday. It's our question and answer day. I have a puppy right here because the Roomba's running around out there. Uh, and my messenger's blowing up. But I have a little puppy and she's pestering me. I don't know what she wants, but... And she's licking, she's licking my ankles. Ooh. Anyway, she's a little upset because Molly didn't come visit today. But Molly's coming tomorrow. Mo Molly's coming tomorrow. Anyway, so we got questions. We got silver rags are on a BOGO, y'all. Silver rags are on a BOGO. Pink rags are $10 for a dozen. And we are good to go, I'm telling you. And we've got lots of sales. There's $10 off on our carpet sweeper. We just have water bottles that are on sale, $75 off on our ultimate package. So you can get the tools you need right now. Now, let's get to the questions. And thank you for the stars, everybody. Thank you so much for the stars. It, it works out to, y'all have sent me right at $300 worth of stars. So I'm getting close to ordering those chairs. Real close to ordering those chairs. And I am so excited because they're going to be from my fly babies. Okay, here we go. What did you take care, how did you take care of the abscess tooth you, you once had? I have one that, that's why I'm asking. Well, I'm not a dentist and I'm not a doctor. You know, I'm not a dentist and I'm not a doctor. But I did not have an abscess tooth. I broke a crown on this side. Yeah. I, I lost a crown at the beginning of, of the shutdown. I lost, and I called my dentist up and he's, he said, you've had a root canal in that tooth. And I knew I had. And he said, just don't worry about it. If it hurts you, I'll meet you. If you have any pain, I'll meet you. So I went for the whole pandemic. I was missing a tooth right there. But you couldn't see it because it's farther back. But here's the deal. If you have an abscess tooth, it can kill you. Do you hear me? It's an infection. So you need to go to your dentist. Do you hear me? You need to go to the dentist. Now, one of the things you can do before you can get a dentist appointment is rinse your mouth out with warm salt water. Just do it. You can use peroxide in the water too and rinse your mouth out with peroxide. You got to draw that poison out. And, and another good thing that I did, I have a supplement that I like to take and it's right over here if I can reach it. It's echinacea, and you can get it at any any pharmacy, whatever, but this stuff works for fighting infections. 
but you need to go to your dentist. You got it? Go to your dentist. No, I haven't had a haircut, y'all. I just washed it this morning and it's still wet. So if you have an infection on a top tooth, the infection can go to your brain and kill you. Do I need to scare you to death to get you to go to the dentist? See, people are telling you here, you got to go to the dentist. What is the best way to stay or and check to see if you have fever? If you have fever, you definitely need to get checked out because that infection is causing you problems. And Leanne and I love these little toothpick flosser things. They're just little little floss picks. Invest in three packs of those on Amazon. It's like six dollars. And just keep them by your, your chair. I keep, oh, uh, where? I had some here. I don't have any here. I keep little tiny toothbrushes by my chair. And I am forever just a little flossing, a little, um, I got these little picks that I use. I keep my gums. Your gums are the most important thing in your mouth. You got to keep your gums healthy. So salt water, peroxide, uh, Listerine, rinsing your mouth out. This is important stuff. You got to take care of your teeth or your teeth aren't going to take care of you. So you got to do this. Where's my doggie? Tulip, where are you? I lost Tulip. I know she's in here. She hadn't left. There she is. What is the best way to stay organized with paying bills? I, and should I keep account information and how to pay in my control journal in case something happens and my hubby needs to know how to pay bills? That should be a group thing. I've paid bills in our home and Robert's paid bills. Now he has things set up where most everything gets paid automatically, which is which is wonderful. Um, having an office in a bag is a great place to keep your bills so that you have a place to keep your bills. That's it, just having a place to keep your bills. And yes, put that information in your your office control journal, in your, your, your uh, office in a bag, because it's gonna help if somebody ever needs to do it. See, I don't really pay any bills right now. Justin pays all the bills at the office. Robert pays all the bills here. I think I have like direct TV set up on my account or different things. But this office in a bag is a cool tool. They come in four colors, black, blue, bright blue, purple. It's the be most beautiful purple you've ever seen. It's sort of uh, frosty purple and red. And I use the red one for my holiday control journal and I use a red one for my emergency control journal. Your red one has all your important papers in it. So there. Yes, and your calendar is a good tool as well for keeping up with things and i've lost my little little bitty calendar but keeping up with when things need to be paid get it on your calendar if you're if you don't have things set up automatically then and you're having to watch every penny you need to stay on top of it so we have a routine for that wednesday's anti-procrastination day friday can when you get paid that can be your bill paying day uh having a time where you sit down and you look at what needs to uh when you look at what needs to be paid so folks being on top of your bills when i read a book many years ago from uh susie orman and if your desk is a mess you're not taking care of your money if your wallet is a mess you're not taking care of your money if 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 Y'all, your bills are piled on a hot spot. You're not taking care of things. You need to take care of your your family's in, income. And no, don't stick your head in the sand. We're notorious for that. We are notorious for sticking our heads in the sand. 
We have to stop it. You, we have to stop just saying it does. It isn't going to matter anyway. You know, we just out of sight, out of mind. Yes, our office in a bag. Let's see if I can find my purple one. No, here's the red one. And I don't know where the purple one is. I've lost it. But here's the red one. Red office in a bag. All you do is put a three ring binder in it, a little one inch three ring binder, and it will hold everything you need to pay your bills. Yep, has everything in one place. Okay, here you go. How do I take care of errands with the current virus situation? Well, you have to wear a mask. You have to have hand sanitizer when you're out because I don't use public bathrooms anymore. I will not go in a public bathroom, but I use hand sanitizer. I keep some in my car. I keep a spray bottle of it, of alcohol uh, in my car. Well, no, that's in my purse. And I'm protected. Now, you can call ahead and order things or you go to you go uh, order order things from Amazon. You keep things simple. You keep a running grocery list. Go to the grocery store one time. And Robert likes to go early in the morning. Yeah, he does. He likes to go early in the morning. There's fewer people. And if you wait till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you got people everywhere. Now, if if you like to go to Walmart... Walmart and Target and other places have grocery pickup. So place your order online and they'll give you a time and you can come and get it. You can come and get it. And they'll put it in your car and you don't have to see anybody. You don't have to do anything. You just have to drive up and let them know you're there. Uh, I let my packages sit out in the sun for a couple of hours before I touch them. We, I know some people who have a station in their garage that they put everything and wipe everything down. But we've, we've just got to be vigilant. Vigilant. Because some people get this virus and they don't know how they've gotten it. And I, I suspect it could be grocery stores. It could be, um, you know, just touching things they don't need to touch. If you're going to wash your hands and you're going to use your hand sanitizer, it is time for you. That That's going to help a whole lot. And don't touch your face. And be sure if you're out, even if you're in your car and you drive up to talk to somebody, you need to have a mask on because you don't know if they're going to come right up to you. You need to be prepared. So the mask is more about keeping you from infecting anybody else. Somebody says they have their ironing board in their garage. Well, I know somebody put a little eight-foot table in their garage, and they lay everything out in there, and then they spray everything with disinfectant, and then uh, they take it in the house the next day, except for the st stuff that needs to go in the refrigerator right away. So you just have to be vigilant and be safe and cut your shopping trips down to one day a week one day a week don't be going to the store every day that's just more more times you can get infected okay next question i'm hoarding clothes that no longer fit my weight fluctuates so i tend to hold on to them any tips take them directly to the car and get rid of them because i know that problem I've had that problem. And you've got to get them out of the house or guess what? Those clothes are going to say to you, come on back, baby. Come on back. I'm going to, you You really liked me when you wore me the last time. You just really want to get back. Get them out of the house. Get them out of the house. You can't hold on to them. 
because they're going to, they're going to, you're going to say, oh, I got a safety net here. I got clothes. I, I got clothes. They're in the basement in a bag. Yep. You're talking to the person who's been there, done that. And we've got to get them out of the house. <clears throat> uh, Carol says she won't do cashless forms of shopping. I don't really know what that means. But right now, it's good to shop online and use your credit card or use your debit card to protect yourself from the germs in the money. I won't touch cash either. I don't, I'm not going to touch cash. If I do, it, it's, I'm, I'm hand sanitizing like crazy. I did go to the bank and get money to give to my, um, my Teresa who does my hair the other day. I did do that. So the main thing here is you've got to be safe. But going back to the clothes, I got sidetracked. You've got to get them at, you, when you do your laundry, bag them up and take them directly to the car and drop them off next time you are, you're at a giveaway bin. That's what you got to do. And don't hold on to your pregnancy clothes don't hold on to those baby clothes thinking you're going to have another baby because those that new baby needs new clothes. Yep. Money is the dirtiest thing out there. So let's get let's get the clothes out of our house. Let's do it. And besides kids get kids you need to look at the children's clothes every every season. Every single season, you need to look at the clothes and make sure they fit. And then either pass them on to somebody else in the house or bless someone else with them. Bless someone else with them. My mom has a suit jacket from the 40s. Oh, my. Parties. How do you keep your house in shape before, during, and after a party? Well, if you're stuck in the kitchen the whole time during the party, you can't do anything to take care of the house. Uh, the main thing is you got to do your routines. If you do your routines, it's... <laughs> Somebody just posted that her mother washed her money. And another thing, folks, you can put all your change in a bucket. Yeah, with soap and water, I'm changing the subject now. All your change in a bucket with soap and water, and you can wash it and lay it out and let it dry on a towel, flip it over and let it dry, uh, <clears throat> dry more, and the bank needs our change. They need our change. They have no change. They can't get banks from the Federal Reserve. They can't get change from the Federal Reserve. Yeah, ch children grow like sunflowers. <laughs> so let let's let's see how much money we can recap by getting rid of all this change we've got laying around our house. Spraying cash with Lysol. I have ironed money. Uh, Justin's dad used to bring home wads of money when kids were paying fees and stuff, and it's just wadded up and nasty. And I have. Ironed it. Uh, I have ironed it and made it flat and stacked it all in for him to take to school. So I know about ironing money. So how do you keep your house in shape before, during, and after? Part? Well, the main thing is you have to pick up after yourself. If you get something out, you have to put it away. That's what I learned a long time ago. If you Get something out, put it away, but you, you got to get rid of your clutter. Getting your clutter cleared is going to help you more than anything. Uh, and having your food pretty much done up so you don't have to do a whole lot in the kitchen will help you. Will help you stay on top of the, the things that are going on. Now, you need to be present at a party. You don't need to be stuck in the kitchen. You need to run in there and get a little thing. 
little things, but stay present at the party and that'll keep on top of things getting messed up. And if something spills, clean it up right then. And after a party, here's what Leanne and I do. As soon as we get through having a party, we do the dishes. We get the dishwasher emptied, new dishes, dirty dishes put in the dishwasher. We get it all done up so we don't have to worry about the dirty dishes and the kitchen. You just get it done. It takes less than 30 minutes to clean up after a party. Somebody's saying they have so much clutter after 50-something years in the same house. Well, that's why we do 15 minutes a day of getting rid of getting rid of of clutter you know i've accidentally run money through the wash machine in a, a pants pocket you know, it comes out okay it comes out okay i don't know about canadian money but our money has got linen in the paper what fly lady tool do you recommend i start with well Right now, during the pandemic, this is the tool I would tell you to start with because we have postponed so many things. We need to get them on next year's calendar. And this is going to keep you organized. This gets rid of the chaos in your life. And if you haven't seen one of our calendar in just three weeks, you're less than three weeks, this calendar is usable because it starts in August. It starts in August. So... Get your calendar. Now, as far as other tools go, Feather Duster, Big Mop, these are great tools. This this little tool, I use it for everything. I, the dog got brushed with it yesterday. I use it for everything. The Swish and Swipe Pack, great tools to keep your bathroom clean. And that's our habit this month. So just pick one. Just pick one and try it. Or get the $49.95 Back to Basics pack. That'll get you going. And it's $49.95. And you get the regular mop. The regular mop. Two mop cloths. Let's see. The rubber scrubber. The rubber swisher and the vase. And there's one more thing. Let me see what that one more thing is. I gotta pull it up. Back to basics. The broom. Yes. Purple rags and a broom. The mop and two extra mop cloths and the swish and swipe base. Yep. So it's $49.95. It's regular $121. And you get it for $49.95. This is the best deal we have in the whole fly shop. So go get it. If, you, if you're needing something to get started and you're brand new to Fly Lady, that's the one to go with. Get my music back up. You support all of us. How can we support you? You deserve something. To, <laughs> I don't need anything. I want those red chairs and those pennies from heaven that you're sending me, the 650 that's already in there. They're going toward my red chairs that I've been wanting for two years and I'm going to buy me those red chairs and I'm going to use the money because it's like $650 I think is what they cost two chairs and a table that's what I'm going to buy me but I'm saving my money from my um my stars and supporters, those of you who are supporters that support me with $5 a month, thank you so much. That comes in into my PayPal account at, um, at the first of every month. Facebook just puts it in there. So thank you so much if you're a supporter. I think there's a, a button for you to hit to become a supporter. And... I, I, y'all are just precious, but I don't, I don't need anything. We have the fly shop that all the tools we sell give us the profit we need to pay our employees and to give them good jobs. And that's all that matters to me is the making sure my employees get paid and my sweet darling doesn't have to 
give me money to do that because long time ago, Robert's mother, her name was Ella. She was almost 100 years old when she passed away. She pulled Robert to the side one Thanksgiving. She says, how much is this fly lady thing costing you? And he said, Mama, I'm a kept man. <laughs> At the time he had retired and fly lady was doing her own thing. He said, she takes care of everything. I don't have to do anything when it comes to money. So he wasn't drawing his retirement. He wasn't drawing his social security, none of that. I was paying all the bills and everything. And so that kind of stopped her from talking about fly lady. She had no clue what we did. No clue. Never does. Neither does my sister-in-law. They really don't get it. Even though her next door neighbor, when they, her next door neighbor found out several years ago that they were kin to us, kin to the fly lady, the lady went nuts. Okay. But thank you for offering to do something. And if you feel the need to do something, that's fine. I'm not going to stop what the good Lord is telling you to do. But let, be, let it be known that once I get those chairs, I'm going to put a goal to do something else, to help something else, you know? So it's just, it's kind of free money, free money. Maybe after this, I'll, I'll let it be my clothes budget because I buy all my clothes on eBay because <laughs> I can't stand to go into a store. Especially now with COVID. Since we are in zone two, how much time a day should I focus on my kitchen? Well, you have to be in there cooking. You know, you have to be in there cooking. And you want your kitchen clean. And I'd say uh, five minutes in the morning, five minutes after lunch, 15 minutes before dinner. You know, get dinner going. Utilize your indentured servants. This way, you know, get your crock pots going, get your Instapot going. These things are going to keep your kitchen cool in the summertime. We haven't turned our air conditioning on yet. We haven't done it. And I'm not the least bit sad about it. And I haven't been, I haven't been, uh, I haven't been, um, let's just say, I, I haven't had a sinus infection or anything. Y'all giving me all these stars. That's so sweet. Pennies from heaven. I'm telling so I got eleven dollars now. Eleven dollars. I like eleven's my number. Which book offers the most details about your system? Folks, I think it's this one because it baby steps you into the system. It walks you through every bit of it. Every and it's you do it in 31 baby day, 31 baby steps. You got it? It's so it's such a good book for this one purpose. You start out shining your sink, and day two is um, day two is get up and get dressed. First thing in the morning. Don't wait till noon or two o'clock in the afternoon. I know you. The next one is keep your sink clean and shiny. Continue to get dressed. Day four, place post-it notes above your kitchen sink. Get up, get dressed, and shine your sink. Just keep going. Day five, recognize the negative things that you say to yourself and turn them into something positive. And there's testimonials and all kinds of things to go with this. This book is flying off the shelves right now. And I don't know. I don't know how much this book is. Um, it's $17.95 on our website, I think. But I think you can take... Uh, let me look and see. I don't want to tell you a story. Let me, let me look. Let me go to Safari. Here we go. Let me see where... It's $15, and I think you can take a discount on it with the coupon code CLEAN25, but I'm not for certain on that. But, yeah, this book will get you started. It's a great way to jump into Fly Lady. Now, I also want you to read Sync Reflections. Sync Reflections, it's a good thing. It's my first book. It lays it all out there. Patty wrote a book called... 
Hidden Treasures. It's a novel. It's a good summertime read. It'll get you going too. So all of our books feed that need to get organized. Yes, we send things to Australia all the time and sometimes it only takes seven days to get there. So day seven. Let me find day seven. Your before bed routine. Pick out your clothes for tomorrow before you go to bed. It makes it so easy to get dressed in the morning. All you're doing is trying to stop having stumbling blocks along the way. Day eight, celebrate. I'm so proud of you. You have a simple before bed routine and a morning routine. And here we are on day nine. Add decluttering to your morning routine. Try a 15-minute, try a five-minute room rescue or a 27 fling boogie. These things are wonderful. Just wonderful. And my latest book, The Chaos Cure, Chaos Cure, and there's a calendar. I can show you the size of the calendar if I don't have a little one. The Chaos Cure is kind of for um, millennials. That's why I wrote it. But everybody loves it. it and it's just amazing. So get the book. We've answered all your questions. Look at this. How wonderful is this? So it's Thursday. It's Aaron Day. So think about what you need to get at the grocery store. Plan a time to go. And let's get... How did I lose my top fan? I have no clue. Don't know that stuff. Sync, sync Reflections, a lot of people reread it every year. I have books that I do that way. I reread last week um, Killing England by Bill O'Reilly. And it was about the the American Revolution, U.S. Revolution. Facebook does some weird things. Yeah, it really does. So, folks, I love you all. I will see you later. I got a young man out here sanding my back deck still. Justin came over and looked at things and gave him a punch list of things to take care of. And it's going to rain in any minute now, but we're going to have... Before long, we're going to have a home, have decks that are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We've been doing the hot melt sprint this week. I know it's here it is Thursday, but you can jump in and do the hot melt sprint and it is good for you. It gets rid of the uh, it gets rid of the inflammation, everything. <clears throat> And we're, Leanne and I are loving it this week. Absolutely loving it. And we do it every month. So it brings us back to, to basics. And Ben is doing good. His girlfriend's with him. And it's, uh, it's all good. I love you all. I will see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock for tea time. Bye.